I am often asked what Julian's day-to-day -day is like and what we talk about. Yes, we spend time talking about the intricacies of the legal arguments that influence the case. But most of the time, we talk about the past and about our future together. He tells our children how he would catch yabbies and go fishing for flathead and blackfish in the Sandon River with his grandfather, Warren, or how he reared a fledgling rainbow lorikeet when he lived on Magnetic Island when he was 13. He tells the children about Tilly, the chestnut-coated mare, or how he surfed in Byron Bay as a teenager. That's how I imagine Julian when he is free not behind the cold blue glare of a computer screen, but cycling through Melbourne like he used to do, or feeling his bare feet sink into the cool sand. Today, Julian's feet only ever feel the hard, dull, even cement on the prison floor. Julian has been able to survive in Belmarsh for five years now because so very many good people around the world won't stop fighting for him until he is free. Every day is filled with jeopardy but also brings him one step closer to freedom. We long for the day he can show our children his childhood haunts. Julian needs his freedom and we need our Julian.